of October 29, 2016. Uh, the kids were away uh, with their aunt. And uh, on my way home, I decided to take some pictures of the city, mostly World Trade Center. So the next day, when I got up, I had no one to take care of. I didn't know what to do. Just got up watching YouTube channel. My husband was sleeping, so I was thinking of saying something, and I, I forgot that he was sleeping, so I just recorded myself. <laughs> so I had planned to do some cooking for the week. What I had planned to cook was beans, rice, mixed vegetables, and string beans. I had purchased uh, most of these, mostly the vegetables, over the week to cook, so I decided to cook them. The beans was the one that took the longest because I started cooking it pretty much I was cooking it from scratch so for the string beans it's like I was cooking all three at the same time but I was waiting for the beans to finish but for the string beans I like to cut them the long way like strip them a couple slices and cook them so I was showing how I uh, cut them I prefer eating it like that I don't know why I love it like that. So I was just showing you guys how I uh, cut them and then I throw the ends away. So here I was showing some uh, vegetables, uh, onions that I had in the freezer. I had to take them out to, uh, for them to be melted and um, made my coffee. <sighs> so pretty much I could have cooked all of them at once, but I was waiting for the uh, beans to finish. So I decided to, when I opened the fridge, I, I saw I had the carrots, so I decided to eat some of them. And every time I put anything in my mouth, especially if I'm in the kitchen, I have the book there, so I write them down. So I was writing the things that I eat and uh, I had some avocados, I put them, uh, take them out from the bag and I'm getting ready to cook some, what was I cooking here? Um, okay, for the small part I like to cook uh, my quinoa and lately I like to add uh, sticky rice, um, quinoa and chia seed. And the ratio for this, I find, that's after trial and error, I find out that two scoop of the quinoa um, makes a better combination with four scoops of uh, the rice. But for the chia seed, I just put whatever um, amount that I feel like putting. And it pretty much depend on how sticky you really want it because the chia seed is a bit gooey. So one thing I like to do before I cook uh, the quinoa is to roast it. Uh, a neighbor of mine who I once invited, uh, she had moved to the neighborhood and I invite her over with her daughter, two of my son, um, to come over and she suggested uh, to roast the uh, quinoa before I cook it. And ever since I've been doing it like that. So I added a couple uh, uh, chia seed in there just roast them both together. That's after the quinoa has pretty much been roasted pretty well. And um, once I do that, um, I, uh, in terms of the water ratio, because I'm using a, you know, one of those weird spoons, um, if I was measuring in terms of cups, usually two cups, uh, one cup of rice is equal to one cup of water. So here I was just eyeballing it. And I just put any amount that I feel that was good. And it, that's the water I was boiling for my uh, coffee. And so I put four scoop of uh, rice. And normally I'm the one who's eating this mostly. And uh, if my kid sees it, they see the dark uh, chia seed in there. The, yeah, chia seed in there, they will not eat it. But this is for me. I would love for them to eat it, but they will not eat it. So in terms of the water, 
um, because the um, so it was boiling so the water was already hot um, but the reason I had it there is mostly for the uh, the beans so the beans like I said I'm cooking it from scratch so it needs to be uh, soft um, so here I was just showing the my starch in terms of uh, the quinoa that I have and things like that so here I put this aluminum thing there to rest the spoons or whatever utensils that I'm using so here I add some water um, each time the water and the uh, beans get a bit dried out I add more water until the beans is soft so I was trying to cook all three at the same time but I really wanted the beans to finish first so I keep on going back and forth to check on it so the quinoa uh, was easy to cook so I cook it it's done pretty much done but in terms of the vegetables I was waiting for the beans to finish I, you know I keep on checking on it every few minutes I don't want it to get dry and uh, yeah you see the beans are taking too long so I was kind of hungry so I decided to eat the uh, four boiled eggs <laughs> yeah, I'm still checking on the beans um, I put some um, garlic in there now I added some onions these onions I usually buy them and then clean it up slice it and then put it in the freezer anytime I need it I just put it in there I just use it so I was uh, boiling um, some eggs to cut the hunger so I pretty much fast forward a little bit four eggs and then I put my uh, cayenne pepper um, I ate some of the yolk but not all of it pretty much remove them I think I ate two yolk and, um, and I didn't throw the other yolk away I saved it if in case I feel hungry later but I didn't eat all the yolk at once but I ate the uh, the white part uh, part of the eggs checking on the beans again these are the garlic that I put in there normally I like to grind the garlic um, when I purchase them and I grind it put it in a bowl then put it in the freezer when I need I just take the portion that I need but uh, lately I've been kind of lazy to do that I just clean it up and just put the whole thing in the freezer when I need I just take a couple and I went back in the room to watch some TV and stuff like that the kids were out so yeah, I see my eyes were still in the kitchen um, checking on the uh, beans hopefully there was no fire so um, I was pretty much waiting for the uh, beans to cook um, it you know like I said I cook it from scratch yesterday when I was in the city dropping them off um, for my brother in law to come and get them them for the weekend I was thinking just now I was thinking maybe I should start doing some of the things that I used to do when I was in college I'm thinking on Fridays I take them to the city go to some museums just walk around back to the hours for the dad to get up from work and then we need to come home together so I was too long museums for myself. Because um, I study architecture and uh, in New York, if you pretty much museums are free. Um, but when I show my uh, student ID, uh, it makes it much easier to get to MoMA and some other museums I remember I used to go to. So I'm thinking I should get my kids involved into these. Since I used to do them myself, I enjoyed it, so I'm thinking to bring them and uh, let me see how they like it.
I have to do it when the weather is kind of nice. Even though if it's cold, once you're inside, it's fine. But when it's not raining. Um, so I was just thinking about that. So it's 3.30. Still in bed. You know, I get up and do a couple things. Some, I'm probably going to put all of those clips together today. Um, I didn't go to the gym. I wanted to just relax. <laughs> My husband is in the other room, in the living room, watching TV by himself. So I made uh, popcorn. I'm going to change and then go join him. I don't know what he's watching. I never really like his the movies that he watched, but I'm going to change and go sit next to him and eat some popcorn. I just ate four eggs about maybe the time flies, like maybe two hours ago. I should have checked the time. I'm not sure if I put it in my logs. I'll check. So I'm going to change, eat some popcorns, sit next to him, and watch whatever he's watching. And then I was supposed to clean. Ugh. Today I just wanted to be free. Don't think about anything. Don't think about the kids that, that they out. I just wanted to be relaxed. I didn't do anything. So, yeah, let me go do that. Let me go change. What are you watching? Can I watch TV with you? You could keep whatever you're watching. What are you watching? Why are you changing? Let me put my socks on. What, you don't want to share? You know, I was recording to put on YouTube, so he called me dumbass. <laughs> do what your mentor should do. I should open up bed. Dumb. You're gonna take over the whole thing, so. Ugh. No, you don't need. I wanna be cozy next to you. Well, we could be cozy together. <laughs> when you say cozy <laughs> next to you, means you're gonna take the whole thing. <laughs> Alright. Sometimes my love, look at the distance I said that. between us. <laughs> Alright, pick a movie. Let's watch. So back to the kitchen. We watched two movies. I have no idea what movies he watched, but I don't remember the name. So I was gonna cook with coconut oil. It was kind of hard, so I didn't feel like fighting with the coconut oil. So I cook it with uh, olive oil. So I was going to cook kale, mixed vegetable, uh, spinach. So here I'm doing my uh, stir fry, my uh, onions and the pepper. So it's two bowls, uh, two pots. I'm, um, I'm putting almost the same thing. But I like my uh, string beans separate for some reason. I could have put all the vegetables together. But my string beans, I like them to be separate. So I put my regular seasoning, goya, sage, uh, what was the other thing? Um, parsley, pepper, pretty much the same thing. I put on both of them. There's my saison, I put that in all my seasoning. And one thing you have to realize, I don't put salt in my food because all of these already have salt. In my, for, in my view, in my taste, but you know, already got used to it. But my kids, my husband, when they're eating, they said my food doesn't have any salt. 
So one pot is for the string beans. And the other pot is for the vegetables. The mixed vegetables and the spinach and the uh, kale, all of that. I mix them together. And you're gonna see what I do with the mixed vegetable. If I give my kids the vegetables like that to eat, they see the vegetables on their plate, they will not eat anything. So the reason I made the beans was to be able to add all the vegetables in it. So I'm moving the pot in the back. Now that the beans is finished, it's soft enough, so I'm gonna grind them. I made sure I put the garlic first and I put some of my uh, seasoning in there so it could really mix well same thing very basic uh, seasoning parsley the same thing that I put on the vegetables my I'm use I don't really like to use this when I'm doing for food and I'm gonna because I usually use that for my uh, shakes. So my, as you can see in the back, there's uh, the blender, my other blender broke. And uh, I haven't buy any, any, a new one yet. So I'm using this um, to do that. So now I'm adding my uh, mixed vegetables in there. That's for my kids. So when I put the beans, and the rice with the, uh, with it for them so at least the vegetables are in there I gave it to my kids uh, on Tuesday um, it took me a while to edit this video so he took a long time to eat it he been very picky my youngest has been very picky for a very long time it's now he's starting to ask for food so I'm assuming the phase of not eating um, sort of over so that's why I'm taking advantage of uh, doing all this to put all the vegetables in there when he used to eat before so I decided to put it in the freezer because it was a little bit still too hot so that's like a couple minutes later, maybe 10, 15 minutes later, I went and checked on it before I start grinding it. Um, it was too hot, so that's why I had to put it. So I put it in the, I blend them, all the vegetables, and then I'm going to put it in the beans. So that was the reason why. I really wanted to do the beans and I did it from scratch not canned beans none of that it's those hard beans where you see in a little plastic bags so I cook it from scratch so I mix it with the uh, beans and I realized that I was carrying it away a little bit um, I think I put a little bit too much of uh, vegetables so it, as I'm putting them in the uh, beans I realized the bean is getting a bit too thick so I add the rest and you see it was getting a bit too thick so I add the rest back into the uh, vegetables these I'm gonna eat it the kids will not eat it. Once they see it, they're not gonna eat it. But everything else is in the beans. So now it's like been a couple, maybe an hour later, everything cooled down. So I'm sewing everything and putting them in the container. So it was kind of hard to do it with one hand because I was using my cell phone. And uh, see, the rice is a bit sticky. It looks hard, but it's, you know, once you warm it up and stuff, it goes back to being sticky. So I'm checking back on everything. Clean up as I'm putting things away. So the string beans, definitely my kids will not eat it. I could give them a million bucks to eat it. They will not eat it. So I'm stirring, um, putting them away. Wash as I 
put things away. See, I already cleaned it, put everything away. The beans is still cooking. And now once it was done, I took my portion. See, everything is put away. The beans is done. And there's the sticky rice, all the vegetables. Now my portion, I add cayenne pepper. I love my uh, food to be very spicy. So I had avocado, cayenne pepper, um, sticky rice, and uh, vegetables, string beans. So that was a couple of days later. <laughs> All right, if you don't eat, see, I didn't even give you that much, okay? So sit down and eat. The thing you see is like a. Uh, All right, no Halloween candies if you don't eat. It's a hot okay? dog. They and wanted hot dog. How is it? See, once you taste it, it's like it's good. Up so you can go to sleep, like, take a shower, and then uh, stop. <laughs> smarty pants. Right, finish up. So, what are you having? Do you know what is that? Beans. Beans. Okay, and the vegetables. Beans? He doesn't what? know. He put. He ate it. He is the tough one. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.